Hey guys, it's Damien. Um, I got a really cool video I'm going to do on FBA. I've done about four or five recent videos talking about um, how fulfillment by Amazon has not only helped our business grow, but has um, had a huge impact overall on getting our brand out there and to getting our brand awareness for our customers with our snacks and candies. Uh, we currently have around 34 items that are now in FBA with a plan this year of putting in at least another 100 new items um, over the next few months. So really quick, I wanted to show you on our handy dandy white tablet here, um, kind of how the pricing, uh, how to price a product and how I price a product um, that you might be able to take this as some good advice when you figure out how much you want to sell your product for um, if you're going to utilize FBA. So, and again, if you're not familiar with FBA, super simple, it is uh, fulfillment by Amazon. Let me get my better marker. Hold on one second. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So we have FBA. It's going to be fulfillment by Amazon. Um, Amazon has a program, if you're not familiar with it, that if you make a food product, actually if you have any product that you want, but if you, my videos are more geared towards people who make food, um, you can actually send it and ship it into Amazon and they will warehouse it. And for a small fee, they will actually, excuse me, they will actually take care of the customer service. They'll ship your product. If there's a return, if there's any issue with it, after the point that you give it to them and it's in their hands, they take care of that for you. Um, the, the little cut, I guess you will, or the, or the amount that they take is um, a slightly higher than it would normally be if it's a seller-fulfilled item. So if I'm selling a product, some of my candy or snacks to a customer and I fulfill the order, Normally those uh, rates, the amount that they take from you is going to be a little less. Um, but FBA, you could still make a huge profit. And the great thing for us as a small business is time. It frees up a tremendous amount of extra time. And that's very valuable. We do want to be in business, obviously, to make money and to make a profit. But at the end of the day, um, the addition of having some extra hours available where I can either be working on another project or, or another new product that we're making, um, or I could be handling the other customer uh, issues. It's a huge benefit for us. So I'm going to do a real quick example. I will tell you a price point of a product that we sell. It's a snack item. So we actually list the product out at about $11.99. Excuse me. I'm trying to get over a cold. So the list price for the item is actually $11.99. We it costs us to make the product around about $1.95 or so or a dollar um, dollar and change. We also ship the product to Amazon, which is another another thing I wanted to touch on was uh, that normally what I try to do is I'll ship about 30 pounds or more at a time. And there's a reason for that. Uh, Amazon is so big, it's so large that it leverages, um, it has great shipping rates. So when you actually go to fill out a FBA um, uh, uh, form to ship in a certain um, package, what you end up doing is that you're going to have uh, a better amount, a lower amount of shipping cost for you to ship out multiple packs of product to them because they have UPS, FedEx, and USB. They have all of them together, but they ship out so much in such a bulk that they can actually have much, much considerably lower rates than if you just took it to a UPS store and shipped it. I normally ship 30 to 40 pounds of product for about $6 to $7. Um, and that's very, very low. And that's great because when you factor out how much the shipping is per unit, you begin to actually see how you can actually make more money and more money from the actual sale will go in your pocket because it costs less and less for you to ship. <clears throat> So the retail price is $11.99. The FBA uh, price that they take, the, the fee that they take, which includes all of the customer service fees, the packing, the pulling, <clears throat> is $581. <clears throat> Excuse me. $581. So what that leaves me with is um, $618. And then minus my cost for the actual product itself. This is my bag, my label, my ingredients, my labor, all of that that it costs to make this one bag is around $1.99. So I, I walk away with $4.19 per bag, <coughs> one bag of candy. 
at one pound gives me 419 and a profit, a net profit of 419. Now per unit, that may not sound like a lot, but when we're selling about a hundred bags a week, this $4 turns into over 400. So our average margin on this, the, the net margin is tremendous. Uh, we have a 27% margin um, just on this one bag of candy. <clears throat> right now we have over 600 items that are listed on Amazon. And I would have to say honestly that it may be about 450 are products that we actually make and sell. The rest of the about 200 other items are items that we um, offer that are pre-made snacks and candies and things that we don't make ourselves. So with a net margin of about 27% uh, based on our cost and then what we're actually producing and making out, it's, it's tremendous. Um, we can go through several hundred bags a week and at around $4.19, this is one item that's actually on the lower end of the margin scale. <coughs> Excuse me. $4.19, some of the other uh, price points and the, the, uh, the margins that we have are in excess of 45%. Um, and they they can they can go up to over five to six dollars a bag. So when we end up selling the, again another hundred bags of that a week, you're looking at six hundred dollars in net profit uh, right off the top after all the fees for FBA, our shipping, our cost to produce the product, etc. So if we can ship out the product and we have it in someone else's hands like Amazon, this will free us up to continue to add more product. <clears throat> and again. We can grow our business. We can do all kinds of work where we're not having to handle every single transaction. <clears throat> now, one great thing about FBA, which I just learned about, and, uh, and this is uh, there's a lot more that I'm still learning from this process. I, I know quite a bit about it, but not as much as I'd like to know, so I'm still learning. Is that they have multi-channel fulfillment, and I'm not sure if you've ever heard of this, but if you have a website, you, you can actually even leverage a blog. If you have a blog, you can actually uh, begin to utilize FBA by creating listings, um, sending your product in, taking the URL, and actually copy and pasting that with a direct link from your blog right to Amazon, and you can utilize a blog to sell product. And they'll fulfill the order for you. If you have a website, and let's say I have a, I obviously I do, but I have a candy website and snack website, I can actually use FBA as my fulfillment center. For example, I take 100 bags of uh, snacks, uh, peanuts, let's say roasted peanuts. I send it to FBA, and I get a whole bunch of orders on my own website over here. I get an order for, we for my peanuts on a website that I run. <clears throat> Once that order is placed, I go back to FBA. There is a feature within FBA that allows you to actually kind of purchase a product and have it shipped. You fill out the form, there's a little box there that fills out the address to where you want it shipped. FBA will fulfill it and take care of the rest of it for you. So you can literally have products on Amazon that's being fulfilled by Amazon and being sold to millions of customers. <clears throat> you can also have a website of your own and people like to go to it and take a look at it and they want to buy stuff and you can literally have your inventory to fulfill that website order right through FBA. And again, what this will do is it gives you, gives your company a customer service. It gives them the refund, the ability that if the customer has a problem, they can return it. Um, the packing, the picking, the pulling, all of that stuff at the warehouse to send the product. It basically utilizes their customer service for your website. If you don't have a website, but you have a great blog and you have a lot of followers, you have a blog, it's very active, you have a lot of customers, or not a customers, you have a lot of followers that go on your blog, but you want to you want to kind of incorporate some product in there. You can send that product to FBA, <clears throat> create the listing. You've got your product A here, and you have a URL. You take that URL, you copy and paste that and put it on your blog. Above that, that link, you put a description on the product. Let's say uh, toothpaste, you, you were selling toothpaste. You're selling toothpaste through FBA. You have on Amazon a beautiful listing that's got all the product information. It's got the price. You take that URL, you put it on your blog. People start going to that, click that link, and they'll go right back to Amazon. And then you can utilize FBA, and they're fulfilling your order. <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me guys, I'm sorry, I have a really bad cold. So long story short, utilizing FBA is going to free up time. <clears throat> There's a lot of different ways you can either kind of utilize it and, and get customers to buy your product without actually having to go to Amazon. Again, if you have a blog or a website, and for that small fee that they use, um, it's well worth it. <clears throat> if you can get a margin of, of above 10%, Many of the products, uh, just to give you an example, <clears throat> many of the products that are pre-made products that are being sold under FBA, uh, there's a company that sells hygiene products. Their margins on average are 4 to 6%. 4 to 6%. <clears throat> uh, their highest margin obviously being 6%. But for them to make a 27% margin that I make on one transaction, they're going to have to go through four times the amount of, of, of sales through their highest margin of 6% to even get 24% worth of sales. So just by utilizing this and by making your product, which you do, if you're, if you're a subscriber to my channel, you obviously are doing something with food, you can get yourself a margin that high. <clears throat> you don't have to sell thousands of units a day just to make a decent margin, although that would be fantastic. But you can literally sell a couple hundred units a day or even a couple hundred units a week. And then per month, you're walking away with two, three, four thousand dollars in sales. And again, it's just the beginning. Don't think of it that, that that's the only amount that you can make. <clears throat> what we try to do is constantly come up with new snacks and new trail mixes, um, new candies, um, different flavor combinations. And also something that's big for us is I just recently learned about bundling products and bringing products together, which has been phenomenal. When you can offer a customer a variety of items, no matter what it is you're making. Um, if you're making, um, let's say, some type of a salsa, and you've got five varieties of salsa, and they all sell very well, you can list one individually, of course. You can sell them by flavor. Or you can put them together in a kit or a set. Now that increases the price point, raises the product price point up, which of course, per transaction, you will make more money. Um, some of the products that we have, I try to keep them up, depending on which one it is, around $19.99, around $20, up to about $30 to $35. Because what it does is it creates a, a higher margin for us. And with the fees being set normally, at, traditionally at a, at a set percentage, <clears throat> of course, the higher the dollar amount is per sale, the better that single transaction will be for you. So... Just some information to keep track of, just some ideas. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video real quick. I've got a couple other videos I'm going to do, but I hope this helps. And let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. I appreciate all your honest opinions. Um, if you have someone in your family or someone you know that's looking to produce a food product, tell them to check out my channel. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys.